so fast. Okay, so this is PyCharm. I know it's kind of dark, but you should be able to see once I start typing because I have the text on grandma size. So um, over on the left-hand side is all your files. When you open it, it's going to be empty right now. Word of caution on these computers, every time they restart, they are locked down so that they reset to the same state every time. So every time you open PyCharm, it'll be like the first time. If you save a file on here today and you come back on Monday and you're looking for that file, it will be gone. So anytime you do anything, email it to yourself, save it on a thumb drive, upload it to Google Drive, do whatever you need to do, but save your stuff somewhere not on these computers or else you'll be very sad. That's my disclaimer. And I have it on video, so you can't tell me I didn't say it. So uh, this is your project folder, Python project. If you right click on that, you can create a new file, uh, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm going to right click and then I'm going to choose Python file from the menu. I'll give it a name, a1.py. That's a good naming scheme if you want to keep track of your assignments. And it'll drop me right into, it'll open that file for me. You can see the tab here says a1.py, dot py. Uh, I'll call them py for short. Uh, is the format that I want you to submit these files in, okay? You can export into different formats, but I want just the raw Python files because then I can download them and run them on my computer to test them out. So line one, this is a one line assignment. It is the traditional hello world assignment. If you've learned any programming language ever, you know that it is deep and long held tradition that we do hello world first. It's a proof of concept. It's a way to test your programming environment. And in this case, it's a way for you to learn the workflow of coding something, saving it, uploading it to Canvas, which is what you're going to do 16 times in this class, 15 after today, if it all goes well. Um, and so I am opening, I've opened PyCharm. I've created my file, a1.py. And I'm going to type my first function, which is print. Now, all you need to know about functions in Python is a function is a command that does something. There are lots of different kinds of functions. There are built-in functions, which are part of the Python language. There are modules and extensions. There are methods, which are part of a class. And there are custom functions. So I can write a custom command that can do whatever I want it to, that can contain other functions. Um, but I know it's a function or a method because it's a word and then it has parentheses after it. The parentheses contain what's typically called an argument, not an argument like you have with your sibling or your spouse, an argument in the sense that I'm telling the Python interpreter some additional information that it needs to execute that function. Now, obviously, if I'm telling it to print something, I need to tell it what to print. And that's what goes inside the parentheses. Now, in this case, I'm going to tell it directly what to print right now. So inside the parentheses, I'm going to put double quotes. And you'll notice that when I, or maybe you won't notice, but when I type the left parenthesis, it adds the right one for me. When I type the first quote, it adds the second one. That's because... In programming, we like symmetry. We want an open and a close, a beginning and an end. So it always wants to surround what we have there with uh, quotes. And the reason I'm using quotes inside the parentheses is because I'm going to give the print function a quote or a string that tells it exactly what to say. And in this case, of course, it's going to say, hello world. So there it is, our first Python program, hello world. So when I run this, what do you think it's going to do? It's pretty tricky. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's going to print hello world. And that's it. That's the whole program. But that's okay because it has all of the components of a successful program. Now, um, this is absolutely simple but it does work 
I'll show you. I'm going to right click anywhere on the background of the screen and choose Run A1. And then down here in the results pane, we can see the first thing it prints is the address of the script that I'm running. The address meaning the folders and the path to that script, the name of the file that I'm running. If we scroll all the way that way, we'll see that it says a1.py. Just trust me on that. Here's, here's the output of the program, which comes next. It says, hello world. It's so magical. And then the last thing it says is process finished with exit code zero. That's what it says when the program has completed executing. If it doesn't say this, that means the program is still doing something. So when it, when it finishes, it will always exit with a exit code. If the exit code is anything other than zero, then there's some kind of an error or some kind of additional feedback from the program. Exit code zero means everything's cool, no errors, don't worry about it, everything went fine. So if you get to that point and you run the program and you get exit code zero, then you can save the file. Now what I like to do is I like to right click on the file name over in my file column over here and open it in the finder or the explorer if you're using windows that'll open a window with that file in it and then i can just drag that file straight over to my desktop like that put it on my desktop or here's another way to do it let's get rid of some of those so if i don't have a bunch of other stuff open Another way I can do it is I can just move that window over and I can drag the file directly onto the desktop like that. The reason I'm putting it on the desktop is so that I can find it really easily when I go back to Canvas to submit that assignment. So if I'm in Canvas, my gosh, the network is always so slow in the first day of school because everybody's all doing their stuff. So here's, the, the Python website for the class, scroll down, click on module one. Here's all the stuff you need to do first week. And then I scroll all the way down to hello world. I choose, uh, well, it would say start assignment, but I already submitted this earlier today. So I'm gonna choose that button up there. And then I'm gonna choose new file. And now I just find that file on my desktop, a1.py. And I submit the assignment. And if I do it right, then I get the confetti. It's very exciting. And it says submitted January 18th at 2.10 PM. And if I'm nervous, like maybe I submitted the wrong file and I want to double check, you can download the file that you submitted to make sure it's the right one. And that's it. So. I literally just did A1 from start to finish right in front of your eyes on video and you have a whole week to get it done now before I drop you. So what I would suggest is that since we have still 15 minutes left in the class, you could do that right now. And if you have a hard time or you have a question, then you can ask me and you'll have one of 16 points for this class already done. How cool is that? So. That's it, uh, I'm done for today. I've already spoken about three times more than I would like to So uh, for the day. So I'm gonna shut it down and tell my wife I'm out of words for today and tell the kids to go somewhere else because I'm done. Anyway, all right, thanks everybody. Let me know, work on it if you want. Uh, if, if, you, if you need to go, you can um, and I'll see you on Monday. Question already all right i'll be right there